What's happening, people? Y'all know what it is. R.E.O.P. It's your boy, Mr. Motherfucking Jefferson. <laughs> it's your boy, Ampavelli, man. Another episode. We're in the Master Podcast. You already know what it is. Yes, sir. Nice, beautiful Saturday. It's hot as hell outside. Man. <laughs> It's super. Yeah, that ain't even. Yeah, that's pretty much an understatement. That's, that's just that Florida weather. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> that shit. Yeah, like the other. I'm all throughout the week. It was like about to rain. Next thing you know, today is just hot as shit, bro. <laughs> all over the place. It been trying to rain a little bit, dropping little sprinkles. Yeah, man, that shit say it ain't raining today. Nah, no gonna, shade. Yeah, we'll get you, you get you hot up out here, man. But we got a special guest in the building, man. He brought the heat. <laughs> Green yes, sir, head, yes, sir. I feel like I owe myself that way. <laughs> um, nah, man, go ahead and introduce yourself. Let yes. the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is your boy Jules Cortez. Um, you know, rocking and rolling, you know, uh I here, you know, just trying to, you know, put the people up on game, what the, what the, what I got going on, you know. Um, you know, pretty much just, you know, getting people insights on who I am, what I do and why I'm here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We appreciate you coming through appreciate for sure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely. definitely. You, yes, sir. you just hopped off the road, man. You was in Miami. <laughs> How was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Miami, man. Hey, it's pretty cool, man. I can honestly say, uh, actually, um, I was there uh, for, for you know just just quite a bit. Um, I had an opportunity to kind of check out South Beach before I left. Yeah. Uh, that was a pretty cool experience. Um, when I was there, obviously, I was there to do some work, uh, shot a video and everything. Um, you know, did some networking. Um, it was a pretty pretty good opportunity. Um, since since I've been you know doing what I'm doing and you know just getting back on the scene, uh, you know there's been some opportunities that's been coming my way and you know just been just taking advantage of them. And uh, Miami, shout out Miami, it's dope, it's yeah. dope. I definitely uh, definitely rock with it. I know sure. I know how you serious with your craft because you left on on Friday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you was you was down there to play, you'd have stayed down there during the weekend. <laughs> yeah, you ain't lying, man. You ain't lying. Yeah, so uh yeah, actually, yeah, it, it, what's crazy is uh I just got back from Miami this morning. Okay. <laughs> so so uh literally No stop. No it was non stop. I probably um prior to this interview I probably did like a one hour nap if that <laughs> squeeze that in. Uh really? so it's just been go mode for me. Um just that dedication, that drive that I just got installed in myself. I feel like I I don't, I don't feel like I gotta prove nothing to nobody, but I feel like I got something to prove to myself, you know, as yeah. a person, because we are our worst critics. So like, everything that I'm doing is really, you know, um, you know, just trying to be the best version of me. So I'm doing whatever it takes. For uh, sure. So yeah, I'm here now. Hopefully, I'm energized. I ain't sounding too, you know, too drowsy because uh, it's definitely been, I definitely been on the road. Uh, Man, one for time the past for twenty four hours. Rain, uh, energy drinks. You know what I'm saying. I keep one on deck. You know what I mean. In case okay. this uh this coma pack hit me too hard. You know oh, yeah. what I mean. I keep me a little energy drink to, see, to I, boost up. See, I ain't got that. I got some protein. I, I heard that. Smoothie king. You That's know, what I need. <laughs> <laughs> what you what you got in the cup exactly? What you fuck with? Uh, so this the Hulk. Oh. Man, the Hulk. Like so, between the Hulk or that. Or the angel food, I want to say. Boy, that's the only one I fuck with. That angel, angel food, food. See, that's the add fruit. a little peanut butter. Yeah, yeah. See, that's it's that. a wrap. Yeah, angel food gonna get you there. Uh, the Hulk. I don't know. I think. I think. I think this is my favorite. I think so. I think the whole, but see, I add strawberry to it. Okay. I do, I do yeah, a strawberry yeah, yeah. and a banana. Cause I'm real. I like strawberry and banana. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm real big on that. Yeah. I don't think it's a combination. Fucking with that when it comes to smoothies. Oh, oh, ain't nothing, ain't nothing fucking with strawberry nah, that, banana. That banana, fucking, nah, that that's banana top boat. tier, boy. That, banana I, boat fire. Yeah, but Who? we gonna pause that. You know? Yeah, pause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Open for the debate now. <laughs> Necessary pause. <laughs> we'll leave that to the comment section. <laughs> Yeah, that shit's something else now, for real. Yeah. Any any kind of uh, banana flavored, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try you it. You can't go wrong with I'm it. I'm gonna try it. Even the banana annihilators. I ain't never had that, nah. Yeah, oh, yeah those, those fires. I ain't yeah, never had those? that. Nah, I ain't never had yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is hit. You sleep out here. This sleep, man. Be, that, hey, that, that, that's a classic candy. Yeah, banana you ain't lying. That's a classic. Yeah, so. definitely. So, so, well, hold on, hold on. I gotta ask since we on it real quick. My fault. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead. Are you, you usually eat healthy and whatnot? Or? You know what? For me, I'm just not getting into that healthy phase. Like, I never knew, I never realized how important it was. Like, yeah. like for me, like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, you know, coming up, growing up, it was just like, all I knew was junk food, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, the noodles and, you know, all that, you know? And, and you know, my dudes ain't really always have it like that. So it was just like, 
eat, eat what's there. What you got. You yeah. know what I'm saying? What's yeah. there. So having that, you got to think about as a child doing that for so many years, it becomes a habit. So you're going to settle for a bag of chips. You're going to settle for them honey buns or, you know, whatever and get full off of that. You know, so for me, that's what I, that's what I installed in myself and not knowing that I developed that habit. And then lately I just been on my eating healthy because I realized that's important. You know what I'm saying? When it, even when it comes to like writing music or just having the energy to do whatever you need to do on your daily basis, like you gotta have hydration. You gotta yeah. be, you know what I'm saying? Your body gotta function correctly. Cause I, I don't wanna overwork myself, especially especially with me doing what I'm doing. Like I don't wanna overwork myself and not have what, what's needed in my body to keep me going. It's so, easy to get burnt out. For example, what I be seeing here doing this interview right now, if I wasn't, you know, drinking water like I've been doing for the past 30 days. I don't know, my energy level, I don't know, but I'm capable to make right, it here, right. coming straight off the road, you know, and still give y'all that energy uh, that's, you know, that's required, obviously, you know, right, so. Right. Uh, so lately I've been on my healthy, I've been on my healthy shit. I can honestly say, uh, just drinking water, soda, like, um, I don't know the last time I drunk one, I can tell you that. So that's a start. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Shout out to uh, Lil Westside, we had her on the show one time. And she had went like full raw vegan and she said just like cleaning up her diet would make her like vocally able to sing better because she like yeah. not congested with like mm -hmm. all kind of flimming shit that come from the from the bad food so Bro, they put everything in the yeah they food, put all man. kind of shit yeah and even like you performing and shit i probably you probably noticed yeah yeah see i got a show coming up uh down to uh hollywood florida um that's dope so that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, you know, shows, man. Speaking of so, I love shows. So like, like you say, like eating the right stuff, like drinking plenty of water, stuff like that. Like, you know, it's key. Um, and I, I think I'm aware of that. You know, because people don't people think that like when they when you prepare for these tours and stuff, like they think, oh, you just get on the stage and just perform, collect the bag, and keep it pushing. No. You gotta work out. Your body mm -hmm. gotta be on point. Like they are in the gym. Yeah, they are working out. People don't realize how easy it is to get gassed when you're running around stage and singing. I mean, you gotta think a thirty minute set could be <clears throat> six or seven songs. Yeah, For eight sure. depending on how you mix them in and shit like that. Uh, shit, people do ten songs in a thirty minute set and yeah. still be gassed. You know, uh, you got to put on a show. So, like you say, exercise is important. Your diet is important for sure. Yeah. Um, to anybody that wants to learn more about like just dietary habits and how it could benefit you, Gut Health is a great book to check out and start with. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, you can learn a lot about gluten free and shit like that. But yeah, it's all important for sure, especially when it comes to like Amp said, vocalizing and being an artist in itself. Yeah, see, I guess I guess people don't really take that in consideration until something happens. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Until they have some kind of experience with it. Yeah, like, you know, like, with me, like, I'm not, I'm trying my best not to wait till something gets so bad, like, to a point where, like, oh, okay, now I want to eat right. Okay, yeah. now I want to do what I'm supposed to do. Like, people think because their body functioning, then you okay i should say you know uh that you know you like uh, i could push that to the side i'd be all right for right yeah. now you know what i'm saying so i mean that's very important like you know and that's it starts with the mental you know so i i'm not gonna sit here and say um i'm gonna be i'm full of vegan or nothing like that right now right but i can say i'm taking those steps that's necessary to make sure i, I watch what i put in and out of my body you know so Hey, I have been. Matter. I am McDonald's the other day on the fly. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. The McDonald's worst. make me sick, man. <sighs> I it, it's like it's like one of them things. Once you get so used to, you know, doing what's right for your body, the moment you put something in it that ain't supposed to be there, it's just like it's yeah. gonna let you know. It'll sure. tear you up. Yeah. So um, that. And I I think it was a chicken sandwich I ate too, bro. Yeah. I got to the middle. I got to the middle of it. It was like rubbery type texture. Yeah. So 
Uh, that wasn't a whole sandwich, but I don't know what it was. But it, you, uh, you was eating horse meat, man. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna stick to the Chick Fil A. At least if I, if yeah. at least I'm gonna go that yeah, route. Mr. Ed. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Ed, Mr. Ed Burger. Yeah, Chick Fil A, maybe. I never, I never did it, and and then, hell no. Nah, and it was like ain't real chicken. <laughs> hey, it's. It, you ever notice that every chicken patty on Chick Fil A sandwich looks exactly the same? It's got that big thick ass side, and then it go thin on the other side. Yeah. You can't tell me they cut that bit perfect every time. Unless it's a nigga in the back just, whoosh, 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 you know what I'm saying? I used, to, it, I used to work at Chick Fil A. What? So what's your take? Put on? us on game. It's real chicken, like man, that. Man, what I'm saying. I mean, you can taste chicken. it. You can tell it's real. So when, you, so when it, it come, yeah, it come it's like, clone. When you get it, it be like in a <laughs> bag. It be in a bag and it be balled up, and you gotta like take your finger and like split it, pause, and then like. So it's pre-processed, or it's not done there. It's, yeah, you making the shit by hand. You taking it just raw ass chicken. Yeah. You dipping in like they put it in milk. Nobody noticed. They, yeah. That's how they cook their shit. They cook their shit in milk. That's you how dip. you fry any bit of chicken. If you want a good fried texture, nah, dip that you, shit in milk. Nah, no, they put that shit like in milk. You supposed to put your shit like in milk wash or like Bruh. egg wash, like not straight up milk. Bro, oh, they, they do the milk milk. Yeah, they like straight up like cow milk. You and it's know? like pickle juice or something too? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, pickle it's, juice it's in the milk. Pickle yeah. juice, yeah. Pickle yeah, juice that's a hell of a combination. That yeah, shit's shit, good. Yeah, that shit crazy, but that yeah. shit fine. <laughs> yeah. That shit hit every time. You yeah. know? Yeah, they definitely got a a, a a a formula, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> that chicken definitely do not miss. I get that spicy shit, yeah. that shit do not miss. I know what I'm getting every time, guaranteed. Chick-fil-A. So hey. If you go go spicy, you go go... Polynesian sauce or Chick Fil A sauce? Yeah, yeah. Polynesian all the way. Yeah. Polynesian, Polynesian all the way. That Polynesian, that shit did like Big Mac sauce. Chick Fil A, Chick Fil A Chick-fil-A sauce the best one. Chick Fil A, see, it got that mayo that taste good. to it. That mayo kind of taste to it. Chick Fil A hit though. The sauce, the, the, the Chick Fil A sauce is good. Nah, but that Polynesian, a Polynesian fire. That shit something else, bro. But you know what? You now y'all know what do hit? Huh? And Chick Fil A, y'all gotta pay me for this. Uh. <laughs> You take the zesty buffalo sauce, you take the garlic herb ranch, right? Mm. And you get, you dip, dip, take your chicken tender, whatever, dip that shit, dip it in each one of them together, mm. you win it. And then on top of that, this is presentation. I might have to try that. This is, bro, try it. I might have dip, to try that. You gotta get the garlic herb ranch, you gotta get the zesty I'm buffalo. I'm high and this nigga talking dip, good, right? Dip now. it in <laughs> one other, dip it in, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta dip it in each one, right? <laughs> And taste that shit, bro. It's on point. And then I was gonna take it as far as, but see, like I say, Chip Lane cutting that check though. So I really don't even want to talk about it. But you know, it was gonna be like this. Uh, you get the fries, right? Yeah. You chop the chicken up, the chicken tenders up. You know, go ahead and sprinkle it across the top. You know, drench your ranch, garlic herb ranch, drench your um, uh, the zesty, the zesty buffalo. Yeah, yeah, bro. That's a whole nother presentation, bro. Like no Uh-oh. other. Hey man, look, uh, <laughs> Chick Fil A. You know y'all gonna have to pay us, but we gonna call it the Hurricane Sauce. We from Florida. You, you, you know, know what? what I'm saying? Real like, talk. The Hurricane Sauce could be something different. So you know what? This being pre-recorded, so get what? You know, we gonna pitch it. We gonna pitch it. So they can't say <laughs> we ain't no. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't invented. Yeah, yeah. He you invented know? the sauce. I got the name for you. This you know going, what I mean? This, like, this, this interview going in the courtroom. <laughs> <laughs> So let's jump back into the to the music, man. Let's um, get it. When did you get started uh, making music first? All right, so um, I started at age of seven, um, and you know what's crazy? Like the the natural work ethic that I built within myself, I never realized the value of it until time until until time went on. Right. So at seven years old, I didn't know songwriting was a thing. I didn't know that was a big deal. I didn't know that, you know. Hey, you know, that's where the money at. You know, that's where the money at. So in my mind, I'm a child. I don't know these things, but I'm naturally like just working, working at it, working at it, working at it. Um, you know, people write songs for other people, but I never knew the value of being an artist and writing for yourself. So um, I started out at seven, man. And what happened was, so, so I was real big on sports. Um, I love football, uh, play quarterback. Um, I was, it, I, I was pretty raw at it, I ain't gonna lie. Um, when I, when I, from seven, when I started writing, when I worked my way up through elementary, like middle school and all of that, like I used to have like, you know, 
I used to have a crew like you know beating on the beating on the cafeteria tables. Man, I turned that bitch up, man. I turned I turned cafeterias up. Like, and it was like to me, I never realized that like what I was really working with though, because I'm still a child, you know what I'm saying? And then it was like everybody was just always like try to get me to spit something. Hey, hey, spit something, spit something. You know, and hey, we can go in the cafeteria, you know what I'm saying? Like, just turn the tables up. You know, you got the pencil, you know, you beating on the beating on the table. Sometimes I used to do it in the classrooms too. I'm just spitting. Everybody else dropping the beats though. And then I got the rest of the class, you know, they 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 turned up to it. Um, at that point I still wasn't taking it serious, but I still was working on my crowd. So it got to a point where um where one time I was in Orlando and I did a talent show and uh, I came in first place and it was actually a manager. Um, it was a manager uh, that was affiliated with uh, Outkast, that, that popular, you know, that classic, you know, classic group. And, um, you know, kind of kind of discovered me, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and uh, you know, he saw something in me, you know, that I didn't really see in myself. Cause I turned, like I said, I turned the talent show up. Yeah. Um, almost any talent show I ever did, like it was either first place or second, like no cap, like you know. So it's like for me, I still didn't realize what I was working with. You know what I'm saying? And I think naturally, I became humble with what I do, cause I just never looked at it as a competition. I just looked at it as this is me. This is what right. I like to do, and I enjoy it. Yeah. So. I never naturally like gravitated towards, oh, I want to, I want my song to be better than this person, or I want to sell more records than this person, or right, I've right. never looked at the game that way. Even to this day, I still don't look at it that way. I'm in, I'm in my own lane. So um, as I did it, I picked up on it, and then just to backtrack, because I don't want to, you know, um, I don't want to speak on, you know, speak on it too long, but like. My mom know how to spit too, a little low key. She rapped like Eve, you know what I'm saying? No cap. And it's like, she used to rap them songs, you know what I'm saying? And you know, when they come on the radio and stuff like that, and that played an impact on me. You know, I kind of mimic, mimic a little bit. You know, you're a child, you know, you look at your mom, look up to your mom, and that's what I did. So I was just doing what she do. Yeah. It's like a little little kid. They hear their little mama. They hear their mama cuss. What they gonna do? Yeah, they yeah. gonna they gonna say that they gonna try to worry. Let me try it. You know, they might get popped, but they gonna try it. You know, so uh, I tried that man, and ever since then I just been working my way up. And I think it didn't get serious for me till I got um, till I got in high school. Uh, so a little prior to me um, getting ready to graduate is when I started taking it serious. My teachers, everybody believed in me. I can't I can't tell that story saying, hey, nobody believed in me or my teachers didn't believe in me, you know, shout out to the teacher that said I wasn't gonna be a rapper or shout right, out to right. the teacher. I don't wanna use the word rapper, I'm an artist, honestly, but um, you know, I can't say that because everybody was for it, for it. Everybody say, Hey, do it. You got it, you got what it takes. So, um, I just didn't take myself as serious. That's what that's what that's where it came in. That's where my that's where my delay came in at. You know, I, I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't want to say I was too humble. I just, I guess me, I gained confidence, you know, over time. Mm. And um, and here I am now, because the last, the last talent show I did, I was in, um, I was in my senior year of high school. And I did it at the, um, I want to say the uh, Lazara Theater over there at UNF. And it was, um, I think it was Team Bash, Team Fest, or something like that. And uh, I won first place in that. Rock that out. You know what I'm saying? I still got the footage to this day. Uh, turned it out. At that moment, I was like, this is what I want to do. And, um, you know, ever since then, I've just been ma making my way through. So. Now, I, bet you was, I bet you was that nigga in school. You was uh, the quarterback. <coughs> you was the quarterback, and you could rap. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nah, like being quarterback, it was pretty cool. Um, I think for me, what 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 helped me make my decision was I'm the oldest of seven siblings, right? Yeah. So the household was always challenging for me, I should say. So like me trying to do this whole sports thing, 
and uh, be the oldest sibling and, you know, keep things together, help mom do side with everything. Right. Uh, it was a challenge, man. And, and, and some days I missed practice. Some days I didn't make it. Um, and it's just, you know, and Mon Dukes ain't always had a transportation to get me there either. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it was just like, it was a lot, man. But um, music, I ended up looking at that like, hey, you know what? I realistically got a chance at this shit for real, for real. Because I'm going to be real with y'all. Like, I'm one of the people, bro, if something ain't for me, bro, I'm, I'm not going to do it. Because right. I'm not doing this because everybody doing it. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, I'm doing this because this is my passion. This is what I love to do. Like, I'm not, I promise you, bro, like, on everything, like, I would not be doing this if I wasn't passionate about it or if I knew I didn't have a fair shot at it, you know? But I feel like, hey, we only live once, so why not give yourself that fair opportunity, yeah. you know? Um, with all my siblings and stuff, like, you know, being the oldest, bro, like, it go from you got your problems and then you got six other people behind you who got their own problems, but then become yours also. So now you got, like, time seven, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's a lot of pressure, you know? So if I'm having a good day, but little bro or little sis having a bad day, yeah, I got to figure out how to help out with that. Or, yeah, right, or I can right. just sit there and just... It is what it is, but that's not my heart, though. That's not how I think. So that made an impact on delaying uh, me me giving music a shot because I look out for my family before I pay for a music video. Yeah. I look out for my family before I go to this show. Yeah. Or I look out for my family before I get that, that studio session. Yeah. Because that's where I am. That's who I am. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's not about just trying to be so anxious to be in front of people, bro. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that's what I do. Like, that's how it always been. And I think that's another reason why a lot of people who may know me, you know what I'm saying? Um, in the past, like, it was always a start, stop, start, stop. You know, I got them cars, the little start, stop. Yeah. The little start, stop feature. But that's, that's, what, that's how my life has been with my music. Start, go a little bit, stop. Start, go a little bit, stop. And... Now I'm at a point now where I'm just an autopilot with it, man. I'm like, why not? Cause I, I don't want to look back. You know, I get older and I'm like, damn, I shoulda, I shoulda did it. Or I right. shoulda just gave myself a chance. You know, and my siblings support me to this day. Like they support my decisions. You know. Yeah. Um. So I, I have separated myself recently. Uh. You know. You know what I'm saying? Like own place for the first time in my life. Like you know what I'm saying and. I just always so being so used to just being around family, man. Right, and, right. And people gotta understand like isolation is not always a bad thing. One hundred percent. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you, to you like this: like if nobody don't respect the space that you may need, like like they're not thinking about you. They're not thinking about you, cause my family, I love them, and it's like me separate myself is for the better. For every and not just for me, just for everyone, right? If you can't see that, then all you caring about is my benefit towards you, for towards you in know in these moments, right. and that's all you want me to worry about, right. you know. But I've been I've been getting that support lately, man. So um, now I get off topic or subject because I feel like I I took us somewhere else with it. But you know, that's kind of like a little brief summary of how I started. Um, some adjustments I made and kind of like where I'm at now. Yeah, so I'm off to piggyback off that. I was going to ask, like, having six siblings, that's crazy. Yeah. How yeah. was that, like, growing up? Because I couldn't even imagine that. Yeah, man. So everybody household different, right? Yeah. Like, you got six siblings and your parents be rich as hell. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that's a bad experience. Right. You know? Um, you can have six siblings and you know, everybody understands what to do, how to do it, what I need in each other. I don't think that's a bad experience. Right. For me, my situation has been, we didn't always have like, like I didn't necessarily have that father figure in my life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like everything I did as a person was self-taught, you know? And if I'm lying, obviously this video upset someone, right? But I'm not, you know. So it's like me having that 
that concept of not knowing how to do it, but got to do it. Because I didn't sign up to be the oldest. I didn't right, sign up right. to be the oldest sibling, you know? So not knowing that that was a job in itself that you don't sign up for. You don't fill out an offer letter. You don't, you, it just happened. It is what it is. It's part of life. So for me, nobody taught me how to be an older sibling. Like how you, who, who does that? Who teaches somebody how to be an older sibling? Have y'all heard of that? I've never yeah, heard of that. Yeah, I'm the oldest, so I had to, I ain't have six other brothers and sisters. I just had two, but definitely being the oldest, that's your parents. Sometimes your parents just like push stuff on you. Yeah. So yours is like, so I did have some pressure being the oldest, but yours is like times three to bury the mind. So yeah, I couldn't yeah. even imagine. So, so with me, like everybody in my, in the household that I was in, like everybody got different personalities you know what i'm saying like i got my sisters you know what i'm saying uh two of them are twins or whatnot and it's like everybody got all these different personalities and stuff i guess i'm the general manager of the the the, the brother and sister relationships you know what i'm yeah. saying i gotta manage everybody so if this sibling not getting along with this sibling Guess we gotta step in and hey, y'all shouldn't be doing that or yeah. whatever the case may be. Um, I don't know how to do this though, so I'm figuring it out. And then Mon Dukes can't tell me how to be an older sibling, you know. Uh she's she's focused on trying to be the best um mother she could be. All right. So her role is to focus on her role. My role is older sibling, you know what I'm saying? So while she's focusing on her role and trying to be the best woman or best mother she can be. I'm trying to figure out how to be the best, you know, older sibling. So everybody came with different situations. Everybody habits and personalities and uh, moods and interests, like what they're interested in, what they're not interested in, uh, what their lights are, what their dislikes are, and just trying to keep everybody on one accord. Uh, it was very stressful. Um, I think when we went through stuff together, uh, that's the moments where the only moments where we could relate, you know what I'm saying? So lights, lights come up, lights get turned off, you know, everybody ain't got no choice but to talk to each other. Yeah. We ain't got no choice. So if you was mad at me earlier that day when the lights was on, you talking to me now when these lights go off, you know, we're naturally, you know, developing our relationships without knowing. And then, um, Whereas food, that's another one, man. That's another one that's gonna develop. I naturally, I naturally developed the habit of eating last. Um, it, 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 we got, you know, that end piece of bread. Y'all know everybody, nobody mm -hmm. really likes yeah. the end piece of bread. The ugly bread. Yeah. I'd yeah. take that, the you know what I'm saying? Everybody get, everybody get they, you know, I just I just let everybody you know get what they want and then I I settle for what's left over. Um, it caused me. It was a give or take. It's like take the good with the bad. It was good for them because they I made sure they were straight. I looked out for them even though we was going through stuff. You know, may not have all the groceries. Um, you know, the whole yeah, the wick experience, food stamp experience. Like you know, what I'm saying like you know, shopping cart ain't full of healthy stuff it's full of snacks and cereal the bags of cereal like you know just this the junk food that we was talking about earlier you know mm -hmm. and um you know just just dealing with you know what i'm saying just becoming this person that just so big on sharing it made it difficult for me because i never thought about myself you know what i'm saying I never thought about myself bro like that's why I struggle with, bro. And, and if we being honest here, I know this podcast, like, I know everything is transparency. The word, the word I want to, you know, get to know who the yeah. person is, get to know what's going on, bro. Like, I didn't start worrying about myself till like, six months ago out of my entire life, bro. Right. Like, no cap. Like, out of my whole life, six months ago is when I first started to care about me and what I want to do or what I want in life, yeah. you know, and... and What's my goals? What's my dreams? What's my vision? You know what I'm saying? And you got to think about it. That's six months ago. So think about all this other time. What was I doing? I just being enough yeah, for my family, putting other, bro. Putting other people first. So putting I'm other gonna, people first. I'm going to ask you, like, is that a hard transition? Because 
the making of music, you got to damn near be selfish. You got like, I got to focus on me and yeah. my shit to get my get my career popping. So transitioning to that was that hard for you? Yeah, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna I ain't gonna sit here I ain't gonna sit here and say it was it. Um, the biggest thing is this: you don't know until you do it. Like I could be so worried about. Damn, they're not gonna like me no more. Or damn, I wonder if they, how they gonna feel about this? Mm-hmm. Damn, like, so I'm gonna stop myself right there. You notice with those questions I asked, who is that about? Other people. Other people, right? Naturally, it's just me worrying about them right, again. Right, right. In the process of me making a decision for myself, I'm worrying about what they think. Mm-hmm. It's a habit. I can't help it. So. Now is like, I think my transition now has been, I think the most difficult part about it is, is doing it and not caring what the outcome will be. That's a tough one. That's a tough one because if you don't care what the outcome is, that could come off wrong. Like that could come off bad. And imagine you're a family person. Like, so you, you, you know, it's like, damn, I really got to move. Like, that's not my problem. You going through that? Figure it out. Uh, call mama. You need that? Call mama. You know, um, running them. I feel, I feel like I feel like that's a form of pushing them away, but it's not because they got to learn too. Yeah. Just like same way I had to learn. And I think that's the most difficult thing, man, is worrying about how they gonna feel when I make my decisions for me. And ever since. I think, uh, excuse me, clearing my throat. Ever since I started making decisions and not worrying about what they may think or how they may feel, man, they love me even more. That's that's crazy, but that's that risk that I took. Then yeah. if they gonna hate me, if they gonna love me. All right. You know, just like hate it or love it, right? So like, and they love me more because they they happy that I'm doing what's best for me, and they understand that. You know what I'm saying? And if they didn't understand that, then they don't have my best interest, you know? So, and they know I still do anything for them to this day, you know? But do my phone ring with questions saying, hey, can you give me this or help me with that? No, not not no more. And I'm so proud of them because they, they develop it to their own people now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Brother's still here. I'm still a call away. I'm still a text away. But they're... They're developing for them too, you know what I'm saying. So now, I think my process that was difficult is slowly becoming a habit. So I'm so used to like I'm just gonna do it. I ain't hesitating. Cause now, when I just say I just came back from Miami, right? That could have been delayed if I would have been like, oh, my baby brother got football practice. Right. You know what I'm saying. And little baby brother, uh, little baby brother Bryson, he um, he's seven now, but um, just getting him into sports and stuff like that. And he, you know, he was somebody that I don't have because I don't have any kids. You know what I'm saying? So he was somebody like somebody would have thought it would have been my son, right. you know, because of how invested I was into him. And I ain't gonna say was, I still am, but I'm playing a brother role instead of a daddy role. Now, right, right. You know, so. It's like playing the brother role versus the, the daddy role is, is a different experience for me because I gotta go days without talking to my little brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I don't see him every time I wanna see him. You know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> it's not that I don't want to, but I'm putting myself first. If, 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 if my schedule is not allowing me to do it at that time, I'm not gonna force it yet. You know what I'm saying? Right. Until I own my time. Right. Right now, the grind, I can't cheat the grind. So I gotta do what I gotta do, you know? So making my decisions now, it's getting easier as I continue to form into my element, into my into who I am, as I focus on myself, it's getting easier for me now. Um, but it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a difficult, I mean, it was a very difficult transition, it wasn't easy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it's gonna be to, it's gonna be a point where you gonna have to like miss his games or whatnot. But like, at the end of the day, he's he a kid, but he gonna understand like eventually. Like you had to do what you had to do 
to get your career going. So yeah, yeah, and 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 I'm that one. Y'all know like the little part ball, the pop one and stuff like that. Yeah, like I made sure. My little brothers got those opportunities. So when mom dudes ain't had a little fee, you know, the registration fee, man, me younger, looking at that, I'm like, oh, I ain't playing. Tuh. You say, oh, how much, how much, a hundred dollars for what? Oh, for the equipment, oh. uniform? Oh, oh, I ain't playing. Yeah. I ain't getting a name on the back of my jersey. What, that's an extra seven dollars? Oh, right, I ain't right. getting it. Yeah, yeah. You know, I barely get a bag of chips. Go to the store and get, hey, I get a dollar, you yeah. know? So I, in my mind, I'm like, man, ain't happening for me. You know, and the chili the stuff was more expensive. Thank God my little sisters, they um they weren't too too crazy about chili. Uh but them fees for them little chili is that, that cost too, man, cause yeah. I looked into that too at one point in time for them, you know. But cause I was like, Oh, they playing football, let me make sure they play but y'all hear how I'm talking though? I'm making yeah. sure they getting their opportunities. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, almost like a father figure. Yeah. yeah, so I'm investing, but that's money though. That's right. money out of my right. pocket. Yeah, right. But you know, that's a video, that's a photo shoot, that's right. a duh, that's a duh, you know? And then it's like, oh, what you doing? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What you got going on? Some people think I don't do music no more. Yeah. That's how many start stops I had in the past. And it's like, I mean, not to let people know, like, it's, it's all enough for me now. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm pretty much at a point where I'm just putting myself in autopilot and ain't no, can't nobody stop it, you know? So that's where I'm at with it um, on that. But yeah, shout out my siblings though. They know I love them and I'm still a call and text away from them. You know what I'm saying? And they support me, you know, and I support them. And we yeah. just we just do it from a sibling perspective versus a, a parental type of vibe. Right, right. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah. So, hey man, it sounds like you got a lot of reasons to be making music and whatnot. Um, yeah. What are some of your goals with with everything? So my so my goals is to. I don't want to just do music and just hey hey you know. Get a few songs and you know have people you know scream a name, chant a song, and feel like I'm on top of the world. All right. <laughs> That's not why I'm doing it. Like I plan on being uh you know being an iconic individual so yeah i do music um i do songwriting you know um i'm also i've, I've also acted in movies and stuff so i you know some little roles here and there um so I, I do plan on uh you know touching up on that you know little modeling gigs here and there you know I, i've had an opportunity to do um I've spoke at, you know, uh, events where, you know, I kind of influenced the youth, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, being that person that got so stressed out and thought about dropping out of high school at one point in time in my life and how did I overcome that, you know? Um, just with all of that, like, I just want to be this person that that defines what, you know, being the best version of yourself is, you know? Yeah. like. Yeah, the music, I'm passionate about it. I love it, it's, it's dope, you know what I'm saying? And I wanna continue to make good music and continue to you know put stuff out there for the people. But most importantly, I, I want to influence people to uh, just be themselves and do whatever they are passionate about. Cause at the end of the day, bro, we all got one life to live. I right. ain't promised tomorrow, nobody promised tomorrow. Right. And long as I'm treating every day like it's my last, like I feel like um, that'll, that'll get me to that point where I want to be in life. Um, of course, I want to get a Grammy one day. Of course, I want to, you know, uh, get those those traditional awards that any artist would want to uh, get the opportunity to say that they earned. Um, but that's not the ultimate reason why I'm doing it. Um, so I definitely want to be a big influence, um, you know, to my peers and the youth also, you know. Uh, another goal of mine is, I know everybody got their own way, you know, they own they own waves and stuff of music and stuff like that. So everybody got their own, you know, their own preferences on, you know, what type of music they listen to, what type of music they want to do. Um, I just want to show people like, hey, there's, you know, you know, you you, you it's other ways, you know, you could go about, you know, uh, your presentation, like, you know what I'm saying, like. 
just because they're one person rapping about this don't mean I got to rap about it, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I just do what I can, you know, as a person and, and, and make that impact, you know. Because uh, me, like, even though I may have grew up, you know, r very rough, you know what I'm saying, rough areas and things of that nature, um, I chose the, the better route, you know what I'm saying? Um, I have, you know, I got, you know what I'm saying, family members and stuff, you know, that that's, you know, you know, accustomed to the whole street life, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, me, everybody in my head, Jay, Jay, you got you got this, bro. Keep pushing, keep going, yeah. keep going, you, you got this. And it's like, hey, but you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying, I'm trying to kick it too, whatever. Yeah. Man, go go in the house, man. Take your ass in the house, man. You got, <laughs> don't you got some homework or something? You know, yeah. and it's like, installing that in me is appreciated. You know what I'm saying? Like, through my cousins and stuff like that. And, you know, yeah. uh, other family members, you know, my brother, everybody, like, they keep me on that, that they keep my mindset on, you know, just, make sure you stay looking at the bigger picture you know what right, i'm saying right. um and i just want to make sure that i'm able to install what's installed in me you know through through other people you know what i'm saying so um i just plan on being iconic man overall i just want to be legendary i just, I just want to be somebody great you know i want to you know, i want to get me a star on the you know in hollywood you know what I'm saying? Get on the billboard charts, all that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. But see, you know, a lot of people be like, oh, industry, I ain't, I ain't industry, I ain't industry. You know, so for me, it's like everybody pick what they want to do, right? Like you you, 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 you choose your own route you want to take. Um, I, I wouldn't necessarily call it industry. I would more so say it's a, it's a preference. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I personally... Instead of me, you know what I'm saying, worrying about somebody else, I prefer to get opportunities to write for uh, platinum, other platinum selling right. recording artists. Yeah. Right, this right. This is what I prefer to do, you know what right. I'm saying? Um, instead of competing with somebody else or worrying about what somebody else is doing. Instead yeah. of spending my time doing that, I prefer to spend my time finding opportunities. Finding opportunities yeah. to do to expand my brand, expand my name and do more things. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So I do I, I don't want to necessarily say that's industry. I mean, but I mean everybody got their own way of how they look at things. Yeah. You know? yeah. I mean today as an independent artist, you can do everything that an industry artist can do. For the most without like the machine, I'm saying you can still reach some of the same accolades. Yep. Uh billboards is attainable, you know what I mean? Yep. Getting um smaller award shows and things like that, like writers writers awards at the ASCAP or BMI, things like that. Those things are attainable as independent artists so I think that once you learn the game you know you really put the time in you can you know build things that for yourself that that are, are like high accolades like I say so yeah yeah and definitely I can honestly say you are absolutely correct um we do got more access you know the internet mm -hmm. it doesn't evolved over time right so things that you know labels had access to that other people didn't right you know it's kind of like it was secretive on the access to get it done you right. know right. then you got you know um things like um united masters yeah. stuff like that that's that's giving artists the opportunity to truly own their process mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying because from from there from United Master, you can submit it on your, uh, submit your songs in, uh, you can submit it for, two, to get on 2K, all these different things. Right. And typically, you have to call Joe up and say, hey man, you got that executive over there, EA Sports, hey right. man, let him, let him hear my song, let him check it out, you know? You don't gotta do that no more, yeah. you know? You submit right through it, you know? It's just like cut the middleman. Um, so, yeah man, that that's, that's the thing about it, like, you know, but I think, <coughs> For me, consistency is key, and um, it's I'm taking this one. I'm taking this run right here, uh, real personal. You know what I'm saying? Cause if I don't got if I don't got the consistency, it's never gonna happen. That's exactly. just point blank. Period. Yeah. Like no, no breaks at all. Like, a lot of know. artists, yeah, a lot of artists get started. <clears throat> they get going a little bit. They see their video, got 500 views, whatever the case may be, and they say, "Damn!" Like they done shared it all week. 
You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, damn, I know my I know my father's tired of saying this, like the same thing, same thing. And then you see the results don't transition that much. So if I'm sharing my song all week, it was at 500 views on Monday. Right. And then on Sunday, I keep posting on my story. I keep telling people, hey, hey, hey. And now it's at 517 by the end of the week. That could be discouraging. Yeah. That could be very discouraging for somebody. And it's like, that doesn't mean you don't got it. That doesn't mean that that record is not doing what needs to be done. What's happening is people focus on the image. They want to make sure they got the Gucci's on. They make sure they got the new J's on. They make sure they, they fit on point, mm-hmm. fit solid, solid 10, right? But when it comes to that marketing and you want to submit, submitting payment for marketing, for marketing, Nobody want to press that button on that one. Yeah. That's the one. But see, that's the one that's going to take you there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I myself have learned that marketing. I'm a fan of marketing. But I've learned that marketing is key to success um, because you don't want to depend on people, just your core followers, to make the song do what it do. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, if if these people who from where I'm from don't want to share my video a hundred times, I can't make them. Right. You know what I'm saying? But if I market, <clears throat> if I if I market it somewhere to well, to the people that may want to do share it a hundred times, that's that. But what if I? But it, but that that's only if I market it though. Yeah. You know. So. You gotta send it to the promo pages also. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. All that. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So, the promo pages, all of that stuff. I mean, of course you want to filter it out because you got some people, I got some people, man, that post my picture on my uh, thing and didn't didn't follow me, but they saying, hey, hey, DM me, bro, so I can, you know, share your post or whatever. And it's like... It happened a lot. It's it just, yeah, those is just, it's just, uh, I feel like it's just real, like... I'd be ready to tell niggas, quit spamming me. Yeah. <laughs> That, that's spam for sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like y'all in my DMs, bro. I ain't asked for this. Right. And then you saying, you saying the shit hot, but you ain't following me. You ain't yeah. really. You ain't, ain't showing a picture. me no love. You, you know what I'm saying? You ain't shared like, a video. You shared a picture. Right, right. You ain't trying to put no content out for real. Right. So I think that's just people that just try to get their page numbers up. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you got to watch out for those. Um, but yeah, for me, bro, like, you know, like I said, I think marketing going to be key. Um, an aspect in this run that I'm doing now um, and just you know put myself out there I don't want to wait on people to to take me serious you know what I'm saying I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it out there do everything yeah. I need to do to get it out there and um, you know whatever come with it come with it but ultimately bro like long as I gave myself a fair shot I'd be satisfied yeah. I don't gotta be the top artist in the world I don't gotta be the best artist in the world you know long as I gave myself a shot, I'd be at peace within myself. The misery will come in when I didn't give myself a shot, and then I'm just sitting here like, damn, coulda, shoulda, woulda. Yeah, you did, 40, so you were like, damn, shit. I shoulda did. did yeah, more. like, yeah. then it's yeah. like, you know. <laughs> that, that hurt, that hurt more than somebody saying no to you. Should right, I be, right, yeah, right. I be 40 on the, on the yachts so and say, at least I tried it, I yeah, tried yeah. it, that was dope, you know, and chilling, right. but happy with myself, you know right. what I'm saying? Cause we we gotta we gotta give ourselves shots like that's it you know what i'm saying like so do like, what you love about you even what y'all doing like this 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 whole podcast is dope man i've been watching y'all for a minute you know what i'm saying and to get the opportunity to actually be on it is dope as hell like Appreciate for real it, because y'all y'all content like you know i know a lot of people that came through here man like like it's just the conversations is so genuine and organic you know yeah. what i'm saying and, and you make people want to, you know, share that information with you because some people could be closed off, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And with me, I feel comfortable, you know what I'm saying, you know, talking with y'all on this show because, you know, um, obviously, y'all ain't just started doing this yesterday. Right, but, right, right. But imagine right. if it was only an idea and you ain't give yourself a shot at this. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't be sitting here right now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? A, it take a lot of uncomfortable risk, but Man. that shit worked off. It took, yeah. but you say the risk though. See what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta yeah. take the risk though. You know what I mean? So, because sometimes at the, at the end of the day, we ultimately do things without knowing the outcome, yeah. and that's the hardest yeah. part. We we need to know. I need to do a little something like. Yeah, you always want to see the future, but shit, God will tell you, man, you can't you you can't look past you know today. Yeah. Yeah. 
and you doing all the right steps. Like you traveling, you's like, I ain't waiting on shit down here. I'm gonna go down to Miami real quick. Right, and right. Make oh yeah, music. yeah. And I was in Orlando before that. Orlando, uh, I was in yeah. Texas before that. Yeah. Like so, I've been in like three different cities in the past week or so. Okay. Yeah. So you moving, yeah. man? <laughs> um, real quick, let me ask this: uh, Where 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 are you from? You know what? Uh, I'm from. You know what? I don't even think people even realize. Actually, people will realize it. I'm actually from Jacksonville, Florida. Okay. Yeah. What's up? What's so, out of town? You know, I don't live on all sides of town, bro. I hear that. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't live on. I live on every side of town: north, south, east, west. Literally. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, I even stayed in Orange Park a little bit. Um, stayed on the east side. You know what I'm saying? Lived on the north side. Yeah. Um, south side, probably the newest addition. You know, so. Yeah. It's like I don't live on every side of town, so for me, I was able to in, the, in every side of town spun at least two, three years there. You know what I'm saying? So I don't went to four different middle schools, four different high schools, four different elementaries. Damn, nigga. <laughs> hey, that's called that nigga hood. Ain't got no school friends. <laughs> nah, I know, I know what you mean, but uh, that's yeah. funny. Yeah, nah, literally, bro. I don't, I don't went. Four, four different schools in the area. I'm gonna find you on Facebook, bro. You ain't gonna see me next year. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I could not sit still, bro, but mom, dude, stay moving. Yeah, stay yeah. moving, man. And, and it's like, I'm a, I'm a minor, I'm a child. I ain't got no yeah. choice but to go. Yeah, right, right. So she lived on the north side this year. She wanna go to the west side this year. Guess who gotta go? Yeah, yeah. I gotta go. You know what I'm saying? It's like I had no control over that. So. Yeah. Some people, you know, they stay on their one side the whole right. their whole life. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I just I'm legitimately from Jacksonville. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, or well, I call it Duval. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, you know, Jacksonville to the people that's nationwide don't really know what what it is around here. Right, Duval right. to the people that you know, if you know, you know. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Shit. I go everywhere and say I'm from Duval County. You say you know Duval County, what? for sure. They know, they know they, what's happening. Hey, they rock, bro. They rock with us heavy, hey, bro. bro. Outside of here, bro. Yeah, yeah. They, they rock with they us do heavy. Now they yeah. used to not. You say used to not. You, yeah. you ain't lying. Jacksonville definitely had a crazy reputation. Yeah, yeah. yeah especially fuck, with the, uh, the the grab bashes and stuff like that. Man, look. Yeah, they, yeah. especially you that. Lying. Yeah, you ain't lying. That, that shit was crazy. How old are you, man? Yeah, me. Uh, so right now, uh, oh, you, so so right now I'm 29. So. Yeah, that nigga said it like next week he gonna be thirty two. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> right nah, now I'm nah, So yeah. yeah, life move fast. I get what you yeah. mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the interview dropping next week. It ain't dropping two years from now. That nigga said interview <laughs> dropping next week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah man. <laughs> what? We're gonna drop, we're gonna drop. We, we work, get we work this quick shit out. Over Come here. on, man. We're we gonna get this shit out. Y'all you know doing it that fast, damn yeah, man. I don't think people know we sat down with you, man. We had a great interview or whatnot. So yeah, we don't play around. We don't play around. Come on, man. Matter of fact, let's play one of your songs real quick. What? Let's, let's get, get it. Let's, let's get it. Put on the big screen. What we got? What we got? We got to uh, talk my shit. Let's get I've it. I've been singing this shit all day. What? Yeah, I'm about know, to talk my shit. You know, that's that new new. That's that new new. Shout yeah. out to Greg Bell, man. He did a hell of a job on the video, man. Man, Greg, he make, he make anything possible, man. Hey, man. That's my man right there. So. You know I'm about to talk my shit. You know I'm about to talk my shit. You know I'm about to talk my shit. You know about talk my shit. You know about it. You know about talk my shit. You know about talk my shit. You know about talk my shit. Oh, really had money. Yeah. We really had none when I was in school. Yeah. I ain't had no juice. Yeah. Be looking me funny. Now I got you. Yeah. I can buy the old school. Yeah. I cut chairs like a nine in a brand new crew. Yeah. He ain't got no room. You gon' see me coming. You gon' see me ballin'. You gon' see me stacking. Rats on rats. You know I gotta practice this shit with no back. In the DMs, nigga, I'm text. On the beat somewhere, I'm relaxed. Don't look. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no room for me and my photos. You know I'm about to talk my shit. You know I'm about to my seeds. Already got it, so I ain't got a wish. Bad bitch here just blew me a kiss. I caught that shit and I hit it by six. AM, that's new, no list. Yeah, yeah, that's new, no list. Yeah, yeah, that's new, no list. You know I'm about to talk my shit. 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 You know about talk my shit. You know about talk my shit. You know about talk my shit. All right. It's Lisa. It's on fire. What's the story behind yeah, it? Yeah, man. What's the story behind man, this? Man, Greg Bell a genius. I can say that. I definitely <laughs> want to get that get that man his flowers. Um, 
Yeah, Greg, man. Shout out to Greg, man. He definitely, he definitely um, seen the vision. Yeah. Uh, you know, he believe in me uh, with everything that I got going on, man. Like, a lot of people, they don't really, they don't really know. And, and that, that's why I say that's dope. That's just, bro, that's just the beginning. You know what right, I'm saying? I got right, plenty right. records on the way. I got another video that's finna drop, you know what I'm saying? Which I get into that talk, you know, about the upcoming stuff. But I just wanna get Greg his flowers for a second and let him know, like, you know, let the world know, like, it takes people to believe in you, right? You know what I'm saying? Everybody not gonna see the vision, you know what I'm saying? And if they don't see it, it's either A, it's not for them, B, it's not for them to be with you or to be, you know, involved in what, what what's going on with y'all. Right. That's like if y'all was the with this podcast, let's say y'all had other people that y'all may have reached out to in in a partnership perspective, saying, Hey, listen, we got this, you know, we got this thing going. Right. You know, it's gonna be big. We working on this, da 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 da. Before all this equipment, before all this stuff came into play, some <laughs> people, if they don't see it, they just not gonna be a part of it, you know. But the people yeah. that see it, as y'all gonna see, they sitting right here right now. Yeah. Y'all saw the vision, you know what I'm saying? So it's not meant for everybody to know it. And with Greg, like he, it was beyond that that relationship of like, oh, you know, he's just an artist. I just want to take his money, do a little video, and, and keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he showed me, uh, you know, he he showed me. You know what it's like to you know have somebody believe in you. You know what I'm saying um, beyond the music, just you as a person. Uh, you you know me being this person that's ambitious and focused and and you know just trying to be the best person I can be, the best artist I can be. You know and not looking at it like it's a competition. You know what I'm saying. Um, him giving me the opportunity uh, to work with him. You know what I'm saying and create some great stuff. Um, has been dope, you know what I'm saying? And we definitely got a lot more stuff in the works. And, you know, it don't it don't take for it don't take for a, a million people to believe in you just for you to become something great. You know what I'm saying? People feel like they need validation from every single person they, they run into, you know. And it don't take all that, you know. Um so yeah man, this video was only just the introduction, just the beginning of all the stuff that's along the way. Um, I have at least a conference call a week, uh, you know, as far as uh, what's next, what's coming up, you know right, what I'm right. saying? So um, I got another video on for Gary to drop. Uh, it's already done. I just got that sent to my, my Google Drive Dropbox uh, a few days ago. And I, I'm like, I ain't finna sit on it. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? I ain't finna sit on it. Um, that one's called terms and conditions. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So that's like a relationship record. All right. Shot by um, Greg too. Right. Yeah, shot by Greg too. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, like 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 I say he see the vision. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So he doing a lot of my he doing a lot of my visuals, uh my artwork, you know what I'm saying? My content. I'm just bringing I'm bringing the product, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And we, you know what I'm saying? We you know, it's like if it, if it ain't broke, don't you know, don't fix it. You know what I'm saying? So if we we making magic, you know, we going to continue to make magic. Um and and you know keep keep giving it to the world so um yeah shout to Greg Bell on that um but of course I just came back from Miami I had an opportunity um to work work with somebody down there um on another video you know what I'm saying so it's just I'm working I'm busy I'm doing what I'm doing you know uh but the type of person I am like you rocking with me from the jump you know what I'm saying. Hey, like I'm rocking with you, straight up, straight like right, that. Right. Y'all give me this interview before I, you know what I'm saying, before I hit a meal. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, and that means a lot to me. You know what I'm saying? So it's like y'all obviously support what I got going. For you know sure, what I'm saying? Sure. Y'all ain't y'all ain't have to do this. You know right, what I mean? Yeah. So I appreciate y'all, you know, for giving me this opportunity to, you know, at least share my story, who I am and what yeah. I got going on. And um, you know, um, uh, Continue, hey, continue. We're gonna need a part two because I got like a million more questions. But yeah, yeah, when you drop sure. that project, we're gonna need that part two. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, for sure. Part two. But what else, sure. what else you working on? Yeah, so turns and condition. That's another record. Um, I got, uh, I got this other record that I'm dropping. I'm just dropping, bro. Yeah, like, just keep, yeah. Keep so going, I'm just keep dropping. Going. 
Um, are you going to be releasing a project soon or are we focused so, on singles right now? So right now, I didn't do a project. I just want to get my con- get content for the for people. sure, for yeah, sure. Yeah, get yeah. to know who I am as right. an artist, as a person. Right. Uh, before you draw interest in me giving you a boat load, like yeah. I gotta give you some. I'm gonna I'm let you sample what you want. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. Imagine me walking in here and cooking y'all a whole dinner. Y'all ain't know what my food tastes like. That's real shit. That's you know a great analogy. Y'all ain't know I'm what my food tastes like. Look at that shit like. and be like, man, look, I, I ate before I came. I could be starving, <laughs> stomach touching my back. <laughs> like, I'm all right. That shit better smell like motherfucking, you know, <laughs> gourmet. Nigga, I better walk in and be floating, you know what I mean? Hey, I'm going to be like, nah, you bro, know the scent. You good. <laughs> it's going to tell on itself, man. It's going to let you know if it's seasoned or not. For man. The show. The smell, it tells. The yeah. smell tells. But yeah, now I definitely look forward to sharing, you know, uh, yeah, definitely, you know, doing another sit down, you know, when I get some more stuff coming. Um, it's singles for me right now. I do want to do an EP soon. Yeah. Um, That's in like the way right now. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Small because. Projects. Yeah. Cause for me, like you know Easy what I'm saying. Digest. Yeah, cause for me, like you know what I'm saying. I, I make my style of music is more so you know relationship driven, and that ain't just relationship as in uh, you know just mm-hmm. like a uh, uh, you know boyfriend girlfriend concept. Just right. relationships with fam, people, yeah. friends, like all of that. So emotional, like talk my shit, for example. I'm just talking my shit. I was that young. We ain't yeah. really had money. We ain't really had nothing. When I was in school, I ain't had no Jew. See, like, I'm speaking on just my experiences and what I deal with, terms and conditions. Like, that's me letting letting you know what I come with um, jumping into this relationship with me. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. I got other records, you know, that that that's coming out that, you know, just just you know, deal with just relationships. You you could just relate to it, you know? Everything ain't always a sad song, but I can still get my point across. Yeah. And I think as an artist, that's why I got better at, because I can make more up-tempo records and and everything not be about, um, you know, heartbreaking and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, got to stay so, versatile with it. Yeah, yeah, definitely got to be versatile with it. So. I got a lot more coming, man. Um, I definitely, uh, this next video, Terms and Conditions, I'm going to probably drop it next week. You know what I'm saying? But we got this this interview coming. I don't know how, how, soon, how soon it's going to hit, man. It's like we got two days shipping over here. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to have to put that on hold. You know what I'm <laughs> Well, shit, you drop the video and then we do the interview. Like that's that's on yeah, their neck. That's, that's on their neck right there. Yeah, bro. yeah. I mean, yeah. Keep the momentum rolling, bro. From a yeah. marketing standpoint, that gives you a lot to to push. So exactly. And you know, this 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 is great content for you. So yeah, and I definitely, man, genuinely, like you know, I definitely rock with the vibe. Um, you know, yeah. I definitely look forward to coming back for sure. You know yeah, what I'm saying. So. For sure, um, just to give y'all an update on where I'm at. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. So we at the this is the kickoff. You know what yeah, I'm saying? So sure. one, part one. it sounds like you got a lot of cooking. You know what I mean? Like you said, you've been to Miami or Orlando. Bro, you done toured all. Uh, all I just Florida, started. You, know? you want me? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tell y'all some real shit though, uh-huh. bro. I just started a month ago doing this shit again. Where, where? So. So like, but shit, you got the right resources. It sound like, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is just experience, you know, yeah. like knowing what to do, how to do it. You know what I'm saying? So it's only been a month for me. Like you go to my Instagram, you know, um, you will see like my my first post this year was um, I want to say was it May or April, May. Well, late April, probably May. Like my first post is probably like, uh, let me see. And this little videographer just hit me up just now from Miami. That's crazy. Uh, but hold on, that's crazy. Like right now as we speak. Um, uh, yeah. So April tenth. Yeah. With my first post for this year. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And ever since then, um, ever since then, you know, I've been rocking and rolling. So we going month number. We going into month number two now. Yeah. Uh, May June. Uh, June. We in June now. So yeah, June tenth. Yeah. That's two months, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, Rocket and rolling. Um, so I'm starting back up, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm coming bigger than ever, you know, yeah. I'm bringing that energy, bringing that heat. And I'm not worried about nobody, bro. Like I want to see everybody succeed, whatever artist from here, you know what I'm saying? 
Like, I show love, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. Like, I'm not on that. I'm not on that celebrity shit, bro. I'm yeah. just being real. It's just, it, I'm a real person, you right, know what I'm right. saying? And I'm not driven by jewelry and, and clothes and ego, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a real person, bro. So, so if I genuinely fuck with you, I'm a fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's not nothing that's in the way of that, you know, like, oh, I got an image to upkeep, so I got to act like I don't like you, or I got to act like, you know, I'm better than you, or whatever the case may be, but I just want to, you know, put it out there, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm definitely open to collaborate with an artist. I don't really got no features out right now, but um, I'm definitely open to it. Uh, so, you know, some people may have that assumption, like, oh, he don't work with nobody, or he don't want to work with nobody, you know? Um, but I'm just letting me know now, like, I'm definitely open to working with people, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And, and You know what I'm saying? Um, and like I say, ultimately, like, this ain't no competition for me. I'm just trying to have fun with this man and just do what I love, you know what I'm saying, and, and make a living out of it. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, now that we locked in, I'm going to be annoying because there's a couple artists that have been through here. Yeah. I'll be hitting them up sometimes, like, hey, where the music at, man? <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if I see you lacking, I'm yeah, glad where the music Nah, at. man, never lack it. That's the thing about it. That's the thing about it. Never lack it. Never stop it. I'm on autopilot with it. Let's go. Let's I'm go. I'm on autopilot with it. Yes, and, oh, we got that on camera, right? Yes, yeah. sir. Oh, so y'all heard it, right? Talking, yeah. Man. So, yeah. so like, hey. it's we rewind, we'll rewind this shit if we need to. <laughs> I'm, you know in, I'm, I'm in autopilot. So yeah, uh, I'm ready to, I'm just ready to just be you great. Man. Locked in. Yeah. yeah. Shit, you got me motivated. After we get done, I'm going <laughs> to get to work out there. Hey, yeah. you know what? You know, and it don't stop with me right now. I still got some uh, footage and stuff to review. Um, photos and stuff to go through, yeah. post to make. Right, right. Like, as soon as I leave, yeah, man. So, Off an hour of sleep. It don't stop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was sleep, bro. So, I got more work to do now, bro. Um, actually, terms and conditions, uh, I'm prepping that video for release for next week now as we speak. So, I got to go back, touch up on everything, making sure everything in place, and then game planning for this upcoming video shoot uh, next week. So, yeah. 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 Oh, shit. Um, we definitely salute you, man. Yeah. All right, Jules, just look into that camera. We, either one of these cameras. Okay. Look into it. Okay. Talk your shit. Promote all your shit. <laughs> what right, you got? Right. Pun intended. Social media, all that all shit. Right. There you go. Yo, 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 you already know it is. Your boy Jules Cortez, and you lock it, man. Hey, listen, a whole lot on the way, whole lot of motion, whole lot of games. Listen, um, I just want to let the world know, you know what I'm saying? This is this is only the beginning, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this is the kickoff. This is the kickoff where... You know, it sets the tone, it sets the bar for the things that I got going on and what I want to do. You know, you can follow me on the social media at Jules Cortez. That's no spaces, no underscores. And, um, you know, if you rocking with it, you vibing with it, just hit your boy with the follow, you know what I'm saying? And just follow me on my mission, you know what I'm saying? And, and see what, you know, what possibility look like and, you know, what that drive can bring, you know what I'm saying, to the table uh, when you get your all in something. You know what I'm saying? So y'all stay tuned. On the way, whole lot of shit on the way. Nothing but motion, you know? And um, we go, that's what we had from here. That's what we had from here. Appreciate it. Show them shorts off real quick. Uh, new oh, yeah, yeah, new yeah. merch on the, but these is exclusive. Yeah. Y'all not gonna get the list. Yeah, yeah. Y'all not gonna get this colorway, but exclusive REO merch on the See way. See this right here? This is exclusive merch. Exclusive merch. You see your boy? Yes, uh, and it is in the right season too, bro. Yeah, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Come on, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna find some raw ass kits for these, bro. No yeah. cap. Yes, sir. I'm gonna find some raw ass kits for these, bro. And 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 I'm gonna definitely uh definitely tag y'all in a bit. Oh, hey, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Come on, for show sure. us some love. Like like for real, like these bitches legit hard. Like see see this this is why I rock with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Gifts. You could get somebody a gift, right, right? You know, of course, all gifts are appreciated, right? Yeah. Um, but I'm not even go front. I legit like this shit, bro. This ain't. I'm hey, not even. I'm not even. We faking. ain't coming with no bullshit. I ain't even faking, bro. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't no even faking. Bullshit, and everybody ain't gonna be able to get this colorway. Man, you know what I'm saying? Y'all not getting that colorway. Y'all yeah. not getting this colorway. Y'all not getting this one. Yeah. So this is exclusive. You know what I'm saying? And them shit's too I, hard, man. Bro, these bitches hard, bro. I ain't even gonna cap with you, bro. They hard for real. 
Man. They hard for real. And they got the, the pockets got zippers on them. So yeah. Got the zippers on the. Got the zippers on the pocket. Ooh. Yeah, man. Keep your shit locked in. Zipper. You ain't losing no keys you on the b-ball court. You ain't losing no phone. Nothing. No man. phone on the. Not the zippers on the pocket. Y'all see this? Yeah. The zippers on the pocket. That's the real pocket protector. That caught you know me from the. That, that caught me for the loop. That caught me for the loop. <laughs> nah, that's real. Nah, I oh, fuck yeah. with him, bro. Appreciate. Yeah. It. I appreciate it. Thank y'all, man. No problem, man. New merch coming soon. Yes, YouTube.com slash Random Acts of Podcast. Come on. What you got? Plug with the rug. Plug with the rug. You got you some new shit know. coming? Man, shit. I got a whole lot of shit coming. Yeah. I'm about hey. to be plugged with it all. I feel like I feel like y'all motivated me a little bit with this. But listen, all videos, man, I, my goal is I want to do all gas, no brakes, man. Yes, sir. All gas, no brakes. So I'm trying to do, I'm trying to keep the videos coming, keep the music coming. You know what I'm saying? Just just let me know you rocking with it. Let me know you fucking with it so I can make sure, you know, I keep it coming. Every, ain't everybody like something fresh, you know what I'm saying? Right, like right. everybody it's a lot of people out here do music, you know, everybody doing their thing, everybody got some good, you know, some good shit going, but um I just want to keep bringing something in addition to the table. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be added to the playlist, you know what I'm saying? For and, sure. and you know, I just hope everybody rocking with it, man. So a whole lot of videos, whole lot of music. Whole lot of whole lot of shit coming soon. Um, so yeah, just stay tuned for that. Yes, yes sir. Yeah. Yeah, just keep working, bro. Hey, been in, this been another episode of Random Master Podcast. R E O P. With all that said, we out. <laughs>